hi students this is t balakrishna chemistry chemistry part 1.2 topic is solution so we already learned the definition of solution the homogeneous mixture of two or more compounds is called solution homogeneous mixture means uh, we learned the properties of homogeneous mixture is given the distribution of one subject from one component to another component um, we can't change the chemical properties or the chemical properties we can separate one compound from another compound with the equation process with the process that is called solution that is called homogeneous mixture the real solution is a solution containing only two components is called binary solution. So the solution is prepared by using the two components is called binary solutions. An example for binary solution, when we are dissolved sugar in water, so it is an example for solution. So how to find out what is the solution? We call it the homogeneous mixture. When we are dissolved sugar in water, it is uniformly dissolved in water, evenly distributed and um, they cannot be separated by the physical methods, so uh, it is called homogeneous mixture. So, it is a homogeneous mixture that is called solution. The solution is prepared by using of only two components, so that is called binary solution. Is it clear? Right, next. Uh, if the solution is a binary solution, uh, we already learned the binary solution means the solution is prepared by using of two components. The one component is called solute, and then another, another component is called solvent. So, the which uh, substance or compound is called solvent, which substance compound is called solvent, depending upon the quantity ratio of the compounds. Uh, the component present in the lesser quantity in a binary solution is called solvent. Uh, the component present in larger quantity in a binary solution is called solvent, depending upon the quantity ratio of the components present in the solution. Then transfer into two types, which is present in lesser quantity is called binary solution. The component which is present in uh, larger quantity is called solvent. We take one example. In this example, uh, the solution is prepared by using of two components. Uh, one is present in lesser quantity and larger quantity. It is a solution. In the solution, these particles are lesser compared to this. Compound. This component is lesser than this component. So this component is called solute. This component is called solvent. When they are mixed each other, we get solution. That is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is called solution. Okay. Right. Next example for the solute and solvent. The, uh, we take uh, five grams of salt. Uh, five grams of salt is uh, dissolved in hundred grams of water. To produce the solution, to produce the solution. So we know the salt is completely dissolved, uniformly dissolved. Um, we can't identify the one compound from another compound. So it's an example for solution. But the solution is prepared by using of two compounds. That is one is the salt, another one is the water. So it's an example for binary solution because we are using only two compounds. So it's a binary solution. It is a binary solution. One component is called solute, another one is called solvent. So here our uh, our aim is I mean, how to find out which one is a solvent and which one is a solute. Depending upon the quantity, which is present in lesser quantity that is called salt, which is present in larger quantity, which is present in lesser quantity that is called solute, another one is a salt. Larger quantity is called solvent. Right? So in this example, when we compare the two components, uh, 5 grams is lesser than 100 grams. Uh, so in this solution, the salt is lesser quantity than uh, water. So salt is called solute. Salt is called solute. Next we are come to another one. Uh, the water quantity is more than the salt. So which uh, quantity is more in the solution? That component is called solvent. So in this example, we clearly know uh, which one is the salt by using of uh, this example 
we can easily understand which one is called solved, which one is called solute, which one is called solvent, which is present in lesser quantity that is called, it is optimal for only binary solutions. So, which is present in lesser quantity that is called solute, which is present in larger quantity that is called solvent. Next, solution. So, some of the phenomena. Uh, so, the formation of solution is a physical phenomena. It is not in a chemical process. So, here the salt is dissolved in water. The salt is uh, lose their only physical phenomena only. It does not lose their chemical phenomena. Okay, chemical properties. They lose only some physical properties. Okay, next uh, the components of a solution do not lose their identity. Uh, do not lose their identity. So when they are dissolved, one component and another solution, they do not uh, lose their identity. Uh, they can be separated by simple physical methods also. They can be separated by simple methods also. So come back. Uh, uh, salt, uh, solute and solvent. 